Hi people, welcome to my channel. I am Arpita Karwa and here I am after 40 days with a new video for all of you. So I am pretty sure that all of you must be wondering that where Arpita was in past 40 days. But let me tell you friends, I was on a digital detox. So uh, if you look at my YouTube channel, you will find that the last video I uploaded was on 30th August and after that I came today uh, on YouTube. So this 40 day period, I I was involved in redesigning my online course for UGC Net English Literature. So I wanted to design a course which was concise yet at the same time effective. So I was jotting down, making new PDFs and redesigning the entire stuff so that I can give you the perfect material which you can cover in limited time. On top of that, uh, I had a word with a few students lately and they said that they were working somewhere or some of them were housewives and they were not get, getting enough time to prepare. So I thought of making a course which was short and crisp. So I redesigned and rewrote each and every PDF. Earlier, if you look at my course, the PDFs were really lengthy. Now I shortened them up uh, to a point that you can cover the PDFs within minutes and you are thorough with a particular novel or play and this was all I was doing from past 40 days and that is the reason why I did not get a time to make YouTube videos and interact with you but now that this Herculean task is complete I'm back uh, to my track and I'm here again with another video on the most important topic or the buzz of this hour which is what was the paper like which just happened 10 days back and what will be the cutoff. So let's address all these important questions in this video. Before I move on and talk about the analysis of the UGC NET September 2020 paper, I would like to say two things to each and every one out there. Number one, hats off to every student who gathered enough courage to go and sit for the exam even during this pandemic situation. I know it takes a lot of courage to take the step to put your career above everything else but you did it and I'm so glad and proud of you. So kudos to you and you deserve a pat on your back. And number two I would like to say thank you to each and every student who has shown so much gratefulness in the past 10 days uh, you know you can't even imagine that we've been reading tons of email thousands of whatsapp messages of students saying that the paper went fantastic and they were thanking us for our online course and reading all those beautiful messages of each and every student I can't express what I go through. I feel so overwhelmed to listen to you speaking about how I, our course helped you in your career, how you were able to find direction in this pandemic situation just because of our online course, because of my YouTube videos. So thank you so much for this uh, overwhelming response. I'm really, really touched and I'm extremely delighted to have all of you in uh, my life. Now that I have shared my gratefulness to each one of you, let me move to the topic of this video that is my analysis for the UGC NET September 2020 paper. If I look at the paper overall, like looking at both paper one and two combined, I would like to say that the students reported the paper was extremely simple. Like there were students who gave last year's net and who gave net this year and when they were trying to uh, contrast and compare they all reported that this time's paper was very very easy both paper one and two and what I am happy and proud is about is that the paper came from exactly what we taught so we were really happy to know that there was no surprise element this time whatever we taught the paper came exactly from that and the paper was really simple uh, and I kind of believe that the authorities thought that since the students are already going through so much let us reduce the difficulty level and make students a bit happier and that is the reason why the paper was set very very easy yet at the same time I think that this is a situation not to rejoice so much because if the difficulty level was low I am pretty sure that the cutoff would be more tough uh, there are chances that the cutoff will uh, go higher 
which I am not sure uh, how we should react to because if the students who've studied really well, they should not be afraid of since they are going to definitely outshine, outperform and uh, clear the cutoff. And the students who are not so well prepared, I think they need to start preparing again for the upcoming net exam. Now let us look at paper one and two separately and see what were the portions from which they asked maximum questions and which were the portions they neglected altogether. If we look at paper one from both the shifts, shift one as well as shift two, all my students reported that the questions which came from all the unit except people in environment and government and policy were very general, like the questions which we all prepare from and the questions which we expect every year in net exam. So like in teaching aptitude, we got questions from uh, evaluation system, from research, there were questions from sampling, from communication there were questions from the communication process so these are topics which we all prepare while uh, we prepare ourselves for UGC net paper one and the same thing happened this year that the questions which came from all these eight units were very general and very expected there was no surprise element as such if you look at DI and reading comprehension uh, you will find out that the questions from DI and reading comprehension, which are like two most uh, scariest areas for any student. They were quite easy in DI. The numericals were like really simple. The digits were such that anybody can solve it without the use of calculators. Whereas if you look at the two uh, current affair based units like government and policy and higher education, as well as people in environment, you will find out that uh, they inclined more towards the current affairs and most of the questions were about the latest happenings. But as I always say that what you need to focus on is the eight units because even if you can get like three questions right out of five questions in all those eight units if you have prepared well under the right direction then you can easily and very very simply clear UGC net paper one because it is not at all tough it just checks your aptitude it checks your uh, intellect level and if you can just uh, you know understand the pattern understand the trend of the question paper you can easily solve it and uh, uh, like before this exam, we uh, provided you course for three units for UGC net paper one at a very affordable price. We provided coaching for teaching aptitude, for communication and for research. And all our students reported that the questions which came from these three units were exactly from what we taught. So like we were not there to set the papers, but how did we know what to teach to the students? Because we've looked at the trend of the paper and looking at the trend we can analyze and we can evaluate that okay these are the portions from which they are definitely going to ask questions so this is how you need to also prepare that even if you are preparing on your own you're not taking help of any coaching institute make sure you go through the previous year papers and you see the kind of questions they are asking every year from particular units and then you prepare those topics from the units there's no point mugging up the entire book or you know solving thousand questions it is important to look at the past papers and based on that you channelize your preparation now it's time to look at my favorite subject that is English literature so let us analyze how the paper 2 of English literature looked like so if you look at the paper the paper was flooded with questions from British literature I always tell my students that the most important section that you should focus on and you should thoroughly uh, study is British literature and this is the reason why there are 350 plus lectures that we deliver in our online course exclusively about British literature because we know that the importance of British literature is never going to go down in the history of UGC net examination. Moreover, if you look at the paper, there were so many questions from literary theory and criticism. So if you guys are trying to escape these topics, are trying to, you know, neglect these topics for the upcoming exam, let me tell you, you're not going to get those extra marks if you neglect these topics. So make sure you study well from all the important topics of literary theory and criticism. This time a very important thing that students told us uh, that they saw in the paper was a lot of questions coming from chronology. 
as i always tell my students that whenever you are uh, preparing for a writer make sure you learn the works chronologically rather than remembering the dates of each and every work published it is better to learn the works in that order itself the reason i'm telling you this because i have this habit in my online course also each and every writer that i'm discussing every lecture is going to chronologically talk about each and every work of the writer because if you remember the chronology on the day of the exam it's very easy for you to get those questions right chronological based questions are the most simplest questions if you have prepared in the right manner another important and interesting thing that i have been observing from past two years and which was also there in this year's paper was the lesser importance that they are giving on american and indian literature they are asking minimum questions from american and indian literature so if you are aspiring to sit for the upcoming net exam you can neglect these two topics because that is not going to cost you a lot of marks make sure you focus more on british literature literary theory criticism and then you touch all the other aspects like world literature research methodology and uh, cultural studies last but not the least let me tell you my take on the cutoff for UGC net September 2020 specifically English literature subject so uh, there's no teacher on this earth who can predict the exact percentage on which the cutoff is going to open because we don't have the question paper and the answer sheets of the students what we can do is that looking at the uh, response of the students and looking at the question paper we can predict the range in which the cutoff would fall so looking at the paper this time i i'm assuming that the cutoff for general category is going to fall somewhere between 55 to 58% the cutoff for obc is going to fall between 48 to 50% and the cutoff for st and sc is going to fall somewhere between 44 to 46% so make sure that you go through the questions once again in your brain and check and see whether you are falling in the cutoff section or not if not then don't be disheartened you have another chance brace yourself up and start preparing for the upcoming net exam and if you think you are there in the safe zone then congratulations and i am wishing all the best to all of you out there so our registration for the upcoming ugc net 2021 is open if you are ready to uh, fight this battle then make sure that you enroll in our course and you start preparing from this very moment because this is a very very good time for students to uh, leave everything and just focus on getting yourself uh, prepared for the upcoming battle because uh, because of this corona pandemic a lot of students are not able to go to colleges and uh, some people are not even working some are working but they are working from home so you have some extra time which you can utilize lies in order to give yourself a very beautiful surprise in the future which will be the degree of UGC net so I wish you all the best for the upcoming results and I hope that you all bring laurels to your family that's it from my side for this lecture we'll meet you very soon in the next lecture till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarwar.com